Welcome back this morning on Start Today. Words of wisdom from one of our favorites. You know him, Jay Shetty. He's a best-selling author, award-winning host of the On Purpose podcast and the chief purpose officer at Calm. And Jay's here. He's got simple tips to help you achieve your goals. Good morning. I'm so fascinated by you, Jay, because I feel like some people have wisdom, but the well keeps getting deeper. <laughs> it's not as if we hear your speeches and you're like, oh, there's Jay with that speech again. How do you keep that such that fertile ground going for yourself and might help others? Too? I think a big part of it for me is finding that time to keep digging, to keep finding, to keep staying curious. I love learning from the guests yeah. on my show. I love learning from you. I like to listen and learn to as many people as I can. So you travel around? I travel around the world. I try and discover new insights and ideas. I love this. So let's talk about the, the first of the year. We have big, huge, lofty goals, things we want to accomplish. And sometimes by around now, we feel let down. Yes, yes. Yeah. Studies show that 43% of us will quit on our goals by the end of Jan. So I'm glad we're talking about this right okay. now. And the reason is because we don't have three things. What? They are a purpose, the people that are right for us that we need and wants to let go, and then a plan. These are the three things that we're missing. So if you're thinking of giving up right now, we're going to help you out. Purpose is tricky because so many people, that's probably the most asked question you get. I want to find out my purpose. So how do you start to tackle that P? So I want to make it really simple for everyone. This isn't about your big purpose in okay. life. This is about the purpose of this year. I think often this we want year. this year that's good. That's to good. be the year we win, the year we succeed. But there are four different types of year we can have. The first is learning. A year like where we're that. learning new knowledge, new ideas. Second is a year of experimentation, trying new things, being curious. Third is a year of performance, finding that groove and momentum. Yeah. And fourth is the year of thriving. So Bill Gates had this great statement where he said that we underestimate what we can do in 10 years and we overestimate oh. what we can do in one year. So I want people to just think about what is your purpose for this one year And ahead? have everything go through that lens. Exactly. What's yours, by the way? What's your... My purpose this year is kind of what we went earlier, to be curious and to learn Learning. from as many people as I can. Okay. People. That's your second one. That's a biggie because I think we have our friends or people who've been in our lives for a long, long time. And then we have new people. But how do we make sure we have the right group so that we keep growing? Yeah, I think we have to recognize that everyone has a different role in our life. And there's three roles that we need to nurture and harness. First is the cheerleader. We need people in our life that cheer us on. And by the way, we need to be this for other people as yeah. well. It creates a symbiotic relationship. The second is you need people who challenge you. You need people who push yeah, you a bit further. Uh, yeah. This could be something you're working with and you're growing with. Mm -hmm. And finally, you need someone who checks in with you. They don't expect anything of you. They don't mm -hmm. mind if you forgot about your goal or you've fallen aback. They're checking in to make sure you're okay. A lot of times, I mean, there's that saying that you're the sum total of the five people you spend the most time yeah. with, so, so choose wisely. What if there are people in your life who at some point were very important, but in this season of life, not so much? Do you believe in say, in like making a clear distinction or do you prefer like let things just kind of go their natural way, die on a vine? I think it's really important to communicate effectively with people and yes. recognize what your priorities are. So rather than telling someone that they're not a priority, Talk about what your priorities are and where you're moving towards. And then people will naturally come in and out of your life. The last P is a plan. Mm -hmm. That's that's important. And I think that can also be daunting because a lot of people are on the merry-go-round and you don't have time to make a plan because you're so busy living your life. Absolutely. So I want to give you a really simple one. It's called the 1431 method. So you have one big goal for the year. The one big like thing what? that give you want to achieve. Example. Like this is the year. I want to learn how to get better sleep. Let's say that's okay, what it is. Sleeping. Well, this is the year that I want to make sure I do 10,000 steps a day. Okay. Right? This is the big, big goal. goal of the year to achieve. Now we're going to break that down into four seasons. There's four seasons in the year. Okay. What am I going to try and achieve in each season to make me feel like I'm making progress? Okay. Maybe season one, I'm just doing 1,000 steps a day. Maybe okay. season two, I'm doing 2,000 steps a day. Okay. Let's really break it down. Let's now break it down into each season as three months each. Mm -hmm. What are the different ways in which I'm going to walk around? What is the different mm -hmm. ways in which I'm going to move? And finally, you have one week per month. What am I going to break it down for that one week? Now, the reason why I say this method is you then get all of these mini milestones, these mini mm -hmm. moments to win, and you can celebrate them along the way rather than waiting till the end of the year to feel you've achieved a big goal. And real quick before we go, what's your morning routine? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do first thing when you open your eyes? My first moment is to remind myself Myself of something that I'm grateful for. That's uh -huh. the first thing I want to do. I have a little post-it next to my bed that says, what are you grateful for yeah. today? It sparks a thought. Do you, do you use your phone or your, for an alarm or do you use an alarm? No, phone? I've actually been using the hatch. 
uh, oh, it yeah. wakes you up with natural sunlight it's or that feeling. That. That, yeah, yeah. It's, I, oh, I guess so. <laughs> Me and your kids have a lot in common. Okay. I love that device. It's well, beautiful. Well, by the way, your advice is great. Your podcast is incredible. I love the fact that you're always curious and there's always something new and fresh and different. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Coming. Thank you. You got to check out his podcast. It's called On Purpose. Find it wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.